Welcome to our high school assessment review. This problem was taken from the 2009 public release of the high school assessment in the state of Maryland. Here's the problem. Stephanie scored 88, 70, 84, and 72 on her first four science tests. What score does Stephanie need on her fifth science test to receive a mean score of 80? Let's analyze the problem. So we know that Stephanie scores 88, 70, 84, and 72 on her first four science tests. So since she knows that she has these four tests, probably or most likely Stephanie already computed her average or the arithmetic mean. So when you say mean, it's just the arithmetic mean or the average. And how do we get the average? We simply add all the numbers, in this case all the science test scores, and divide by how many scores are there all in all. So let's get the sum and get let's get the average first of these four numbers. So we have eighty-eight plus 70 plus 84 plus 72 and let's divide it by 1, 2, 3, 4 so that we can know what is the average of Stephanie on her first four science test. So let's do our addition here. 88 plus 70 gives us 158 158 plus 84 gives us 242. 242 plus 72, that gives us 314. Divided by 4. And what is 314 divided by 4? So it's 78.5. When you are taking your HSA, most likely you are using a calculator, so you can use your calculator to get this number. Now, on the first four science tests, Stephanie's average is 78.5. That's her mean score, 78.5. She wants to raise her average or her mean to 80. So from 78.5 to 80. Is it possible for her to raise her average to 80, knowing that she has only an average of 78.5, if her score is less than 80 in the fifth science test? The answer is no. So we know that 79 is not the answer. 80 is not also the answer. So we are going to select between 82 and 86. Now the problem here is we do not know what is that fifth science test. We do not know what is this fifth science test. Since we do not know that one, let us use a variable to represent that. Let's use the variable x to represent Stephanie's fifth science test score. And therefore, our equation now would look like this. All these four test scores, 88 plus 70 plus 74 Oh, no, 84. This is 84. Plus 72. Plus the fifth score, which is x, divided by, there are five of them, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, divided by 5, equals the desired average, which is 80. So we want this to be 80. And why do we put here 80? Because that's what the problem is asking for. Stephanie wants an average of 80. When we are dealing with equation, with denominator or with fraction, if you can eliminate that denominator or that fraction, then do that immediately so that you will not be dealing with fraction. So how can we cancel this 5 or how can we eliminate this 5? We're going to apply a property of equality. 
what we're going to do is since 5 is a denominator, we are going to multiply both sides of the equality by 5. And what we are doing here is we are just applying the multiplication property of equality. Now, the effect of that is we will be able to cancel out this denominator 5 because 5 divided by 5 is 1. 1 times this number would result to that number. So, let's cancel out now the 5. So, I'm going to use a different color here. So, cancel this out. And what do we have? We have this numerator. And we already computed that the sum of these four numbers is 314. So, 3, 1, 4, plus the x. So, that's our simplified form of our numerator. The denominator is already cancelled out. Equals, 80 times 5 is 400. Now, whenever we are solving for an equation, we want the form variable equals the constant term. So, we don't want this 314 at the left side of the equality. So, how can we do away with this 314? We can subtract 314. So, by subtracting 314 from both sides of the equality, this 314 minus 314 becomes 0. So, we are left at the left side with x. On the right side, we subtract also 314. So, 400 minus 314. And that gives us x equals 86. So what does this mean? Stephanie should get a score of 86 on her fifth science test so that she can raise her average from 78.5 to 80. Now how can we check if our answer is correct? To check if our answer is correct, we can just substitute our computed value of x here and then see if we will get an average of 80. We already computed that the sum of these first four science test scores is 314. So 314 plus the value of x, which is 86. And what do we get? 314 plus 86 equals 400. And then in order to get the average, we divide this by 5 because there are 5 scores. This 314 is the sum of these 4 numbers plus the 5th one, so divide by 5. And 400 divided by 5 equals 80. So, we are able to verify that the average really is 86 if the 5th science test score is 86. Now, when you are taking your actual test, you don't want to write all of these steps, but it's very important that while you are practicing for your test, you must be able to understand how we arrive at this equ equation. And it's also important that you can uh, have a sense of the magnitude or how big is the average of Stephanie before uh, she takes the fifth science test so that you know that if her current average is less than the desired average of 80, then it does not make sense for her to get a grade of less than or equal to 80 in order to raise her grade to 80. So we're going to select from these two options. So we'll have more HSA review problems in the next video. See you in the next video.